Today we are releasing Lemur, a framework for applying LLMs to transcribed speech. It strings together all the important components you need to build generative AI apps on audio data, including automatic transcription, prompt augmentation, compression and retrieval techniques, language models and structured outputs. Lemur offers the stack in a single API and enables developers to reason over their spoken data with just a few lines of code. With Lemur, you can, for example, easily search, summarize, ask questions, or generate new text with the knowledge of all your application's spoken data. So you can build AI apps for meetings, phone calls, videos, podcasts, and more. We launched Lemur Early Access in April, and starting today, Lemur is available for everyone to use, with new endpoints, higher accuracy outputs, and higher input and output limits. Lemur is designed to be highly accurate on a core set of tasks, custom summary, question and answer, and action items, but it can also be extended to any other use case with a customizable endpoint. So let me show you some examples to see how it works. The easiest way to get started is through the Assembly AI Python SDK, but of course you can use any other programming language as well. With the summarization endpoint, you can automatically summarize virtual meetings, phone calls, podcasts, and more. One incredible thing to highlight is that Lemur can ingest over 1 million tokens, which translates roughly into 100 hours of audio data, and you can feed in multiple files at once, so you can use an entire lecture series, for example, and summarize it. You can also add additional context in text form to provide more information, like specific topics Lemur should pay particular attention to when summarizing. With the Q&A endpoint, you can get answers to your questions about your spoken data, ranging from asking about a customer's history in a call center to asking for an explanation of a concept mentioned in a podcast. And Lemur can also provide answers to your question and include reasoning and citation. The action items endpoint allows you to automatically generate a list of action items from virtual meetings. You can provide a specific format to follow and add context on the speakers to assign action items to specific meeting attendees. Lemur can also be extended to any other use case. It's designed flexibly to allow you to define your own tasks and prompts with a customizable endpoint. Lemur is accessible through our API today. The easiest way to get started is through our playground where you can upload a file or enter a YouTube link and experiment with all Lemur endpoints with just a few clicks for free. Of course, you can also use our API directly. Simply sign up using the link in the description and get a free API token. I also recommend checking out our docs and our welcome collab to be up and running in just a few minutes. And we'd love to hear your thoughts about Lemur. Please drop them in the comments below what you think about it and we're really excited to see what you're building with Lemur.